The Memory Book 2000 Read by Simon Peterson Memory Verses Salvation John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 John 14.6 Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. John 14, 6 John 3, 3b Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John 3, 3b John 1, 12 But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. John 1, 12 Revelation 3.20 Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him, and will sup with him, and he with me. Revelation 3.20 Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. John 3, 36. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life but the wrath of God abideth on him. John 3.36 John 10.27-28 My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. John 10.27-28 Acts 4.12 Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Acts 4.12 Matthew 18.3 Except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 18.3 Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.23 1 John 1.9 If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 9. Acts 16.31 Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. Acts 16.31 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. 2 Corinthians 5.17 John 6.37 All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. John 6.37 Titus 3.5 Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us, by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Titus 3 5. Romans 10, 9 through 10, and 13. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. 
For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 9-10 and 13 The Holy Spirit Acts 1, 8 Ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Acts 1, 8 John 14.26 The Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. John 14.26 Galatians 5.22-23 The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Galatians 5, 22-23 Acts 4, 31b And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spake the word of God with boldness. Acts 4, 31b Acts 2, 17 through 18. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens I will pour out in those days of my Spirit, and they shall prophesy. Acts 2, 17 through 18. Luke 11, 13. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Luke 11, 13. John 16, 13. When he the Spirit of truth is come. He will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. John sixteen, thirteen. The Word John 1, 1 and 14a in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. John 1, 1 and 14a Matthew 4, 4 Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Matthew 4, 4 Psalm 119, 11 Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. Psalm 119, 11 Psalm 119, 130 The entrance of thy words giveth light, it giveth understanding unto the simple. Psalm 119, 130 2 Timothy 2.15 Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. 2 Timothy 2.15 John 6.63 It is the Spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life. John 6.63 Matthew 24, 35 Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Matthew 24, 35 First Peter 2, 2 As newborn babes, desire the sincere milk of the word, 
that ye may grow thereby. 1 Peter 2.2 2. Psalm 119, 105 Thy word is a lamp unto my feet, and a light unto my path. Psalm 119, 105 John 15.3 Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. John 15.3 2 Peter 1.4a Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. 2 Peter 1.4a Joshua 1.8 This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Joshua 1.8 Hebrews 4.12 For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hebrews 4.12 Psalm 37 31. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. Psalm 37, 31. Our relationship with the Lord. 1 John 4, 19. We love him because he first loved us. 1 John 4, 19. James 4, 8a Draw nigh to God, and He will draw nigh to you. James 4, 8a Proverbs eight seventeen. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Proverbs eight seventeen. Matthew 11, 28-30 Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Matthew eleven twenty-eight through 30 2 Timothy 1, 12, b I know whom I have believed, and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. 2 Timothy 1, 12b Romans 8, 38-39 For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 38-39 Romans 7, 4 My brethren, ye also are become dead to the law by the body of Christ, that ye should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead that we should bring forth fruit unto God. Romans 7, 4 John fourteen twenty three. If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. John fourteen twenty three. Psalms 111, 10a the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Psalms 111, 10a Psalms 73, 25 through 26 Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. 
My flesh and my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion for ever. Psalms 73, 25 through 26. Faith. Romans 10, 17. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Romans 10, 17. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Mark 9, 23. If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. Mark 9, 23. Second Corinthians 5, 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Second Corinthians 5, 7. Luke 1, 37. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Luke 1, 37. Matthew 9, 29b. According to your faith, be it unto you. Matthew 9, 29b. Hebrews 11, 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11, 1. James 1, 5 through 8. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind, and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. James 1, 5 through 8. Hebrews 11, 6. Without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hebrews 11, 6. James 2, 26. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. James 2.26 Job 13.15a Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Job 13.15a Romans 14.23b Whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Romans 14.23b 2 Timothy 2.13 If we believe not, yet he abideth faithful. He cannot deny himself. 2 Timothy 2.13 1 John 5.4 For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. 1 John 5.4 Romans 4.20-21 He staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. Romans 4.20-21 Hebrews 10.35 Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great recompense of reward. Hebrews 10, 35 Prayer Matthew 7, 7-8 Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Matthew 7, 7-8 7 John 15, 7 If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, 
ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. John 15, 7 Mark 11, 24 What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Mark 11, 24 John 14, 14 If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. John 14:14 14, 14. Jeremiah 29:13 Ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Jeremiah 29:13 Matthew 18:19 through 20 If two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Matthew eighteen nineteen through 20 1 John three twenty two, Whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. 1 John three twenty two. First 1 Thessalonians 5.17 Pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 Hebrews 4.16 Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Hebrews 4.16 Isaiah 65.24 and it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer, and while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Isaiah 65, 24 Matthew 18, 18 Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Matthew 18, 18 1 John 5, 14 through 15. And this is the confidence that we have in Him that, if we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. And if we know that He hear us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of Him. 1 John 5, 14 through 15. Isaiah 45, 11b. Ask me of things to come concerning my sons, and concerning the work of my hands, command ye me. Isaiah 45, 11b Psalms 66, 18-19 If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. But verily God hath heard me, he hath attended to the voice of my prayer. Psalms 66, 18 through 19. Romans 8, 26. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Romans 8, 26. Prophecy. Jeremiah 33.3 Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Jeremiah 33.3 Amos 3.7 Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants the prophets. Amos 3.7 Psalms 32.8 I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. Psalms 32, 8 Isaiah 30, 21 Thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right hand and when ye turn to the left. Isaiah 30, 21 Proverbs 1.23b I will pour out my Spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Proverbs 1.23b 
Isaiah 42, 9 Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Isaiah 42, 9 Jeremiah 23.28 The prophet that hath a dream, let him tell a dream. And he that hath my word, let him speak my word faithfully. Jeremiah 23.28 Psalms 73.24a Thou shalt guide me with thy counsel. Psalms 73.24a Jeremiah 1, 9, B. I have put my words in thy mouth. Jeremiah 1, 9, B. Love. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. And now abideth faith, hope, love. These three, but the greatest of these is love. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. 1 Peter 4, 8. Above all things have fervent love among yourselves, for love shall cover the multitude of sins. 1 Peter 4.8 1 John 3.16 and 18 Hereby perceive we the love of God, because He laid down His life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. 1 John 3, 16 and 18 1 John 4, 7 through 8 Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and every one that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. 1 John 4, 7 through 8 Matthew twenty five forty b Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Matthew twenty five forty b First Corinthians thirteen four through eight a Love suffereth long and is kind. Love envieth not. Love vaunteth not itself. Is not puffed up doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Love never faileth. 1 Corinthians 13, 4-8a John 15.13 Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. John 15.13 1 Corinthians 16.14 Let all your things be done with love. 1 Corinthians 16.14 Galatians 5.13b By love serve one another. Galatians 5.13b The Law of Love Matthew 22.37-40 Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Matthew twenty two thirty seven through forty. John thirteen thirty four. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. John thirteen thirty four. Matthew seven twelve. Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Matthew 7.12 Galatians 5.14 For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, 
thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Galatians 5.14 Galatians 6.2 Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Galatians 6.2 Romans 13.8 Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. Romans 13.8 Praise and Thankfulness 1 Thessalonians 5.16-18 Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16-18 Ephesians 5, 20 Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 5, 20 Ephesians 3, 20-21a Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory. Ephesians 3.20-21a Psalms 34.1 I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Psalms 34.1 Psalms 107, 8 Oh, that men would praise the Lord for His goodness and for His wonderful works to the children of men. Psalms 107, 8 Psalms 35, 28 My tongue shall speak of Thy righteousness and of Thy praise all the day long. Psalms 35, 28 Philippians 4, 8 Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Philippians 4.8 Unity Psalms 133, 1 Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Psalms 133, 1 1 Corinthians 1, 10 Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind, and in the same judgment. 1 Corinthians 1.10 Ecclesiastes 4.9-10 Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. But woe to him that is alone when he falleth, for he hath not another to help him up. Ecclesiastes 4.9-10 Ephesians 4.3 Endeavouring to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Ephesians 4.3 Romans 12.5 We, being many, are one body in Christ, and every one members one of another. Romans 12.5 Romans 14.19 Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace, and things wherewith one may edify another. Romans 14.19 1 John 1.7a If we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another. 1 John 1.7a Witnessing Mark 16.15 Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mark 16.15 Matthew 4.19 Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Matthew 4.19
Acts 5.42 Daily in the temple and in every house they ceased not to teach and preach Jesus Christ. Acts 5.42 Proverbs 11.30 The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. Proverbs 11.30 Matthew 5.14 and 16 Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Matthew 5, 14 and 16 1 Corinthians nine sixteen. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me, yea, woe is unto me, if I preach not the gospel. 1 Corinthians 9.16 John 6.27 Labor not for the meat which perisheth, but for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. For him hath God the Father sealed. John 6.27 2 Timothy 2.2 2. The things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. 2 Timothy 2.2 2. Daniel 12.3 They that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn many to righteousness as the stars for ever and ever. Daniel 12.3 Matthew 28.19-20 Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you alway, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Matthew 28. 19 through 20. Luke 9 2. He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Luke 9 2. 2 Timothy 4 2 a. Preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season. 2 Timothy 4 2 a. 1 Corinthians 2 4 through 5. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. 1 Corinthians 2, 4 through 5. 1 Peter 3, 15b. Be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you, with meekness and fear. 1 Peter 3, 15b Ezekiel 3, 17-19 Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth, and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. Ezekiel 3, 17 through 19. Discipleship. Luke 14, 33. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. Luke 14, 33. Matthew 19, 29. Every one that hath forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive an hundredfold, and shall inherit everlasting life. Matthew 19.29
Luke 9:23 through 24 If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, but whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Luke 9:23 through 24 Matthew 22:14 Many are called, but few are chosen. Matthew 22, 14 Matthew 6, 24 No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. He cannot serve God and mammon. Matthew 6, 24 Acts 2, 44-45 And all that believed were together, and had all things common, and sold their possessions and goods, and parted them to all men, as every man had need. Acts 2, 44-45 John 13, 35 By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love, one to another. John thirteen thirty five. John eight thirty one b through thirty two. If ye continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John eight thirty one b through thirty two. John fifteen sixteen. Ye have not chosen me. But I have chosen you, and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. John fifteen sixteen. Luke nine sixty two. No man, having put his hand to the plough, and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. Luke nine sixty two. Matthew nine thirty seven through thirty eight. Then saith he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the labourers are few. Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth labourers into his harvest. Matthew nine thirty seven through thirty eight. Hebrews eleven fifteen through sixteen. And truly. If they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country, that is, an heavenly. Wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he hath prepared for them a city. Hebrews eleven fifteen through 16 John fifteen eight. Herein is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. So shall ye be my disciples. John 15, 8 1 Corinthians 6, 20 For ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. 1 Corinthians 6, 20 Matthew 10 36 through 38. A man's foes shall be they of his own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And he that taketh not his cross and followeth after me is not worthy of me. Matthew 10, 36 through 38. Our Relationship to the World James 4.4 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. James 4.4 4. John 15.19 If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. John fifteen nineteen. Second 2 Timothy 2, 4 
No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. 2 Timothy 2.4 1 John 2.15-17 Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of God abideth for ever. 1 John 2, 15-17 Mark 8, 36-38 For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed, when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Mark 8, 36-38 Galatians 5 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Galatians 5 1. 2 Corinthians 6 14. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion hath light with darkness? 2 Corinthians 6.14 2 Corinthians 6.17 Wherefore come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. 2 Corinthians 6.17 Ephesians 5.11 Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them, Ephesians 5.11 Romans 12.2 Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12.2 Matthew 10.16 Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves, Be ye therefore wise as serpents, and harmless as doves. Matthew 10.16 It's only Jesus. Acts 4.13 Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled, and they took knowledge of them, that they had been with Jesus. Acts 4.13 Matthew 10.20 For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. Matthew 10.20 Philippians 2.13 For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Philippians 2.13 Jeremiah 32.27 Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Jeremiah thirty two twenty seven Psalms a hundred and eighteen eight It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man Psalms a hundred and eighteen eight Psalms a hundred and twenty seven one Except the Lord build the house they labor in vain that build it Except the Lord keep the city the watchman waketh but in vain Psalms 127, 1. Jeremiah 17, 5. Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. Jeremiah 17, 5. Humility and Pride. 1 Peter 5, 5 through 7. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility. 
For God resisteth the proud, and giveth grace to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. 1 Peter 5, 5-7 Philippians 2, 3 Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem others better than themselves. Philippians 2, 3 Matthew 23, 12 Whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. Matthew 23, 12 Proverbs 16, 18 Pride goeth before destruction, and an haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs 16, 18 Daniel 4.37b Those that walk in pride he is able to abase. Daniel 4.37b 2 Corinthians 10.17 He that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. 2 Corinthians 10.17 Proverbs 11.2 When pride cometh, then cometh shame but with the lowly is wisdom. Proverbs 11.2 Ephesians 6.6 6. Not with eye service as men pleases, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. Ephesians 6.6 6. Fear not. Isaiah 41.10 Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah 41.10 Isaiah 26.3 Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Isaiah 26.3 2 Timothy 1.7 for God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1.7 John 14.27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 14.27 Psalms 27, one, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, one. Psalms 23.4 Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Psalms 23, 4. 1 John 4, 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. 1 John 4, 18. Psalms 34, 4. I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Psalms 34, 4 Psalms 46, 1 through 2 God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Psalms 46, 1 through 2 Mark 536b Be not afraid, only believe. Mark 536b Isaiah 122a God is my salvation, I will trust and not be afraid. Isaiah 122a Jeremiah 18 Be not afraid of their faces, 
for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. Jeremiah 1 8. Psalms 119 165. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Psalms 119 165. Psalms 56 3 through 4. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In God I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Psalms 56, 3 through 4. Deuteronomy 31, 6. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee nor forsake thee. Deuteronomy 31, 6. Proverbs 29, 25. The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Proverbs 29, 25. Overcoming Attacks of the Enemy. James 4, 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James 4.7 1 John 4.4 4. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. 1 John 4.4 4. Isaiah 59.19b When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Isaiah 59.19b 1 Timothy 6.12 Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called, and hast professed a good profession before many witnesses. 1 Timothy 6.12 Ephesians 4.27 Neither give place to the devil. Ephesians 4.27 2 Corinthians 10.4-5 For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. 2 Corinthians 10 4 through 5. 1 Peter 5, 8 through 9a. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith. 1 Peter 5, 8 through 9a. Ephesians 6, 10 through 12. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians 6, 10-12 1 John 3, 8b For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. 1 John 3, 8b 1 John 2, 14b The word of God abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. 1 John 2, 14b Ephesians 6, 16 Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Ephesians 6, 16. 2 Timothy 4, 18. The Lord shall deliver me from every evil work, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom, to whom be glory for ever and ever. 2 Timothy 4, 18. Strength and Power Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Philippians 4.13 Nehemiah 8.10b 
The joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah 8.10b 2 Corinthians 4.7 We have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God, and not of us. 2 Corinthians 4.7 Zechariah 4.6b Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. Zechariah 4.6b 2 Corinthians 12, 9, and 10b. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glorify in my affirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. For when I am weak, then am I strong. 2 Corinthians 12, 9, and 10b. Isaiah thirty fifteen b In quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. Isaiah thirty fifteen b Isaiah forty thirty one They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. Isaiah forty thirty one Deuteronomy 33.25b As thy days, so shall thy strength be. Deuteronomy 33.25b Protection Luke 10.19 I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Luke 10.19 Isaiah 59, 1. The Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. Isaiah 59, 1. Proverbs 14, 26. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. Proverbs 14, 26. Exodus 14, 14. The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. Exodus 14.14 14. Psalms 34.7 The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. Psalms 34.7 Psalms 34.17 The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Psalms 34.17 Proverbs 1.33 Whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Proverbs 1.33 Proverbs 18.10 The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it, and is safe. Proverbs 18.10 Persecution. Second Timothy three twelve. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Second Timothy three twelve. Matthew five ten through twelve. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Matthew five ten through 12 Romans 8, 31b If God be for us, who can be against us? Romans eight thirty one b Luke 21.15 For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Luke 21.15 Matthew 10.23a When they persecute you in this city, flee ye unto another. Matthew 10.23a Luke 21.17-19 And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not an hair of your head perish. In your patience possess ye your souls. 
Luke 21, 17 through 19. John 15, 20. Remember the word that I said unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. John 15, 20. Philippians 1, 29. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. Philippians 1, 29. Matthew 5, 44. Love your enemies. Bless them that curse you. Do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Matthew 5, 44. John 16, 2. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Yea, the time cometh that whosoever killeth you will think that he doeth God a service. John 16, 2. Acts 5, 38b through 39. If this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of God, ye cannot overthrow it, lest haply ye be found even to fight against God. Acts 5, 38b through 39. Trials and Temptations 1 Corinthians 10.13 There hath no temptation taken you but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. 1 Corinthians 10.13 James 1.2-3 My brethren, Count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. James 1, 2-3 Isaiah 43, 1b-2 through 2. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee, when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Isaiah 43, 1b through 2. Hebrews 12, 1 through 2. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hebrews 12, 1-2 through 2. 1 Peter 4, 12 through 13. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you, but rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings, that, when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. 1 Peter 4, 12 through 13. Romans 8.18 For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Romans 8.18 James 1.12 Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. John 15.2 Every branch in me that beareth not fruit he taketh away, and every branch that beareth fruit he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. John 15.2 Psalms 119.67 Before I was afflicted I went astray, but now have I kept thy word. Psalms 119.67 Psalms 119, 71 
It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I might learn thy statutes. Psalms 119, 71 Hebrews 5, 8 Though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. Hebrews 5, 8 1 Peter 1, 7 That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honour and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. 1 Peter 1, 7 Matthew 26, 41 Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Matthew 26, 41 2 Timothy 2, 3 Endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. 2 Timothy 2, 3 Luke 22, 31 through 32. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desired to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. Luke 22, 31 through 32. Chastening. Hebrews 12, 6 and 11. Whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Hebrews 12, 6 and 11. Proverbs 15, 32. He that refuseth instruction despiseth his own soul, but he that heareth reproof getteth understanding. Proverbs 15, 32. Proverbs 22, 15. Foolishness is bound in the heart of a child, but the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. Proverbs 22, 15. Proverbs 16, 6. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. Proverbs 16, 6. Ecclesiastes 8, 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Ecclesiastes 8, 11. 11. Comfort. 2 Corinthians 1 4. Who comforteth us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble, by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God? 2 Corinthians 1 4. Psalms 119 50. This is my comfort in my affliction, for thy word hath quickened me. Psalms 119, 50. Psalms 147, 3. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. Psalms 147, 3. John 14, 18. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. John 14, 18. Hebrews 13, 5b. He hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. Hebrews 13, 5b. Matthew 5, 4. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Matthew 5, 4. Healing. Psalms 34, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Psalms 34, 19. James 5, 14-16 Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up, and if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another that he may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much.
James 5, 14-16 Isaiah 40, 29 He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might he increaseth strength. Isaiah 40, 29 Psalms 103, 3 Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Psalms 103, 3 Luke 17, 14b And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed, healed. Luke 17, 14b Malachi 4, 2a Unto you that fear my name shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Malachi 4, 2a Acts 9.34a Jesus Christ maketh thee whole. Acts 9.34a Psalms 107.20 He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Psalms 107.20 2 Kings 25b I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears, behold, I will heal thee. 2 Kings 25b Jeremiah 30.17a For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. Jeremiah 30.17a Isaiah 53.5 He was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Isaiah 53, 5 Matthew 10, 1 And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits, to cast them out, and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Matthew 10, 1 Exodus fifteen twenty six. If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Exodus 15.26 Mark 16.17-18 These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Mark 16, 17-18 Faithfulness Revelation 2.10b Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Revelations 2.10b Matthew 25.23 Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Matthew 25.23 Revelation 3.11b Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Revelation 3.11b Luke 16.10 He that is faithful in that which is least is faithful also in much, and he that is unjust in the least is unjust also in much. Luke 16.10 1 Corinthians 4.2 It is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. 1 Corinthians 4.2 Romans 12.11 Not slothful in business, but fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Romans 12.11 Galatians 6.9 Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. Galatians 6.9 Ephesians 5.16 Redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Ephesians 5.16 Proverbs 28.20a A faithful man shall abound with blessings. Proverbs 28.20a 
Obedience. James 1.22 Be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. James 1.22 John 13.17 If ye know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. John 13.17 John 15.14 Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. John 15.14 1 Samuel 15.22-23a Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. 1 Samuel 15.22-23a through 23a. James 4.17 To him that knoweth to do good, and doeth it not, to him it is sin. James 4.17 John 14.15 If ye love me, keep my commandments. John 14.15 Yieldedness John 3.30 He must increase, but I must decrease. John 3.30 Romans 12.1 I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Romans 12.1 Luke 22.42 Father, If thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Luke 22, 42 Romans 6, 13a Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God. Romans 6, 13a Fruitfulness John fifteen four through 5 Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. John fifteen four through 5 Matthew seven eighteen and 20 A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Matthew seven eighteen and 20 Psalms 1, 3 And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, his leaf, also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Psalms 1, 3 John 12, 24 Except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone, but if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. John 12, 24